like me, makes reference to art historical motifs such as classical portraiture and painting, and elements such as the frieze, iconography and newer processes of collage, assemblage and the digital deconstruction of the image. This is the third in a series of exhibitions which brings together artists at varying stages of their careers. Alice Hanratty was born in Dublin in 1939. She's a senior Irish artist and a member of Estona. Elements shown in Gallery 1 are slightly hung higher than would be usual, and this makes references to the friezes which have influenced this series titled Procession. She's not particularly interested in the formulation of written concepts or theories in relation to work, but rather interested in the language of vision. For this exhibition at the dock, she has made new paintings, mostly over the summer and autumn of 2017. The works are made with ink, pencil and oils on thick Somerset paper. Her paintings are shown in Gallery 1, where seating invites you to spend time with the various figures in this fragmented procession of individual tablets or paintings, which are then integrated to form one continuous frieze in the mezzanine. The second element is a large-scale printed installation, taking imagery which has been digitally stitched together and then designed specifically for the mezzanine space here at the dock. This is really a play on Alice's work and a representation of it, redesigned for the building. Kean Benson Bales graduated from Dunleary Institute of Art, Design and Technology and lives and works in Sligo. In Gallery 2, we've created an enormous billboard that houses one of his images, which is a cacophony of different references, ideas of dance, fertility, gender, identity, all brought together in this enormous image. Behind this piece, then, we find a smaller video element that he has created, and this three-minute piece invites you to be closer with the work. And behind this, again, are two smaller images, prints that we've made, that in many ways kind of look to his skills in terms of um, art historical references and this idea of really perfect pitch in terms of composition using technology. He is very interested in the discourses surrounding identity and its deconstruction and construction and he makes material and spatial interventions that reference various narratives, ideas which are attached to the notions of authenticity, identity and the body itself. He's really interested in the modification of this, interested in spaces and cultures and how these are presented through technologies and how alternative cultures juxtapose with mainstream ideas of heteronormativity and concepts surrounding the notions of identity and its current construction. Kean has recently exhibited in Tolka Galway and CCA Derry. Eleanor McCaughey comes from a family of painters and studied animation and classical painting techniques. Uh, we've built for Eleanor a gallery within a gallery which was inspired by a fun 90s theme bringing together yellow fleece and a pattern kind of reminiscent of a trashy MTV video. I decided to deck out the, the gallery space, you know, make it more interesting for the viewer, make it more fun, exciting. The half of the wall is covered in uh, a lemon fleece. I felt that I wanted to make the walls quite tactile. They almost mimic the textures of the models in the paintings. These are characters, they're genderless, but they look important. They're kind of presented on a pedestal, on a plinth. So they're like figures of importance, but they're nobody. They're, they're um, imagined. I kind of painted quite abstractly and so the figure became quite absurd so I liked that so I focused on that. You're greeted by paintings of a white clay figure and as you move further into the interior of the gallery it's a point where you see all six figures working off different planes and perspectives. Art can be so serious um, and painting can be so serious um, I just wanted to, to create something with a pop element to it and something flashy which completely reflects society uh, now. Social media just as a form of self-expression. I think it's interesting how constructed it is, um, how people um, portray themselves doing very interesting and fun things. You're constantly bombarded by how you should be living your life, like how to improve your life, how to improve yourself. It's a real culture of, you know, self-improvement. So I'm very interested in this, dolling yourself up and taking selfies. Um, 
I just wanted to put on a show. <laughs> so like me refers to the private self, the public self, the idea of presentation. I think the whole effect is to celebrate the skill of the artist, but also to have a sense of fun and to bring the viewer in embodied sense through the exhibition itself.